Good. It's going to be a good uh, snuggle night, too. We're going to see right. some rain oh. Friday and wind, too. So protect those puppies. Keep them nice and cozy yeah. there. 54 right now in Sanders. It was a gorgeous day today. Our temperatures were way above normal again for this time of year. Our high temperatures today made it all the way into the low to mid 60s statewide. We have cooled off some, but still in Portland right now, still at 62 degrees. Same thing for Lewiston. Augusta is currently at 63 and Bangor down to 61. But I mean, this is pretty mild, especially for this time of night at this time of year. Things, though, will be changing as we go through the next couple of days. Those temperatures will be making a return to normal. And then by early next week, Monday and Tuesday, our high temperatures will actually stay in the 40s, so going to be a little bit cooler right now. Mostly clear skies. We do have a couple clouds moving in. We'll see those clouds really increase, though, as we go through the next several hours. Some rain is on the way too for overnight tonight and into early tomorrow, but then eventually things will clear out and we'll see some sun by tomorrow afternoon. You can see those showers moving in. Really, it's early tomorrow morning. This is 3 a.m. and then we'll go to 6 a.m. Still seeing some rain in parts of southern and central Maine, moving into eastern Maine by around 8, 9 a.m. and then. By tomorrow afternoon, things start to clear out. This is noon tomorrow. You can see mostly uh, clear skies to the west. Couple sprinkles still around too. Once the sun comes out, things able to warm up at least for a couple hours. So we'll see those high temperatures in the upper 40s and lower 50s tomorrow. And then it's going to cool back off overnight Wednesday into early Thursday. We will drop down into the upper 20s and lower 30s. It's going to be a chilly start to the day on Thursday. We'll see some sunshine though, mostly clear skies and temperatures should be able to warm up back into the upper 40s and lower 50s, which remember that's normal for this time of year. Normal is not these uh, temperatures in the mid 60s that we've been having for the past couple of days. Then we have that rain on the way. It'll mainly start once we get into Friday afternoon and Friday evening. This is 5 p.m. on Friday. You can see some pretty heavy downpours with this. We'll also see some pretty strong wind gusts. Wind gusts potentially as high as 35 to 45 miles an hour once we go through the overnight hours and into early Saturday, but then it's going to clear up in time for the weekend. Looking pretty good right now for the weekend. Temperature is not too bad heading through the day on Saturday, but then the cool down starts. You can see as we go into Monday and Tuesday of next week, those temperatures will be a little bit cooler than what we've been dealing with for the past couple of days. Three to four feet for tomorrow. Winds from the north at around 10 knots. By tomorrow afternoon, they'll be from the northwest at around 15 to 20. So after those morning showers get out of here tomorrow, we'll see some sunshine. High temperatures make it into the upper 40s and lower 50s by tomorrow afternoon. Uh, on Thursday, plenty of sunshine for Veterans Day. Temperatures in the upper 40s and lower 50s. Temperatures are comfortable on Friday, but we'll have clouds around for the day. And then those rain showers, uh, that heavy rain moves in Friday night through early Saturday morning. A little bit breezy out there as well right now. It doesn't look like uh, many power outages, if any at all, but we're keeping an eye on that for sure. Weekend looks good though, and then yeah. cooler as we head into next week. No more 60s, more like 50s and then 40s mm. by Monday and Tuesday. More like normal. Yes. All right. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Jess. Thanks.